Hi guys, how are you doing today? Well, I'm standing in my kitchen because I'm talking about food and I get so many requests to share what we're having for dinner. You guys know I've done a lot of those videos. What I'm eating in a day, like share new recipes. And I do try to spread those out every once in a while. But I thought this was the perfect chance to bring you guys some new content for what's for dinner videos and inspire you to try something else like it did me. I know a lot of you are probably familiar with HelloFresh. It's been around a lot. I know people use it. It seems great. I've always wanted to try it and then just always forget. But I thought hearing me talk about my experience and share with you what I found out about it may inspire you to want to try it as well. So when HelloFresh reached out and asked me if I would like to try the product, I knew right away I did because like I said, I've been wanting to try this for quite some time. I knew the concept behind it and I just thought it sounded really interesting. One, because my husband and I get in a rut with dinners. You guys know that, that's why I don't always share a ton of things because I often say, you know, we're eating the same things all the time. So I thought, you know what, this will give us some new dinner ideas and then in turn, I can also share the experience with you guys and hopefully inspire you and give you some new ideas. Everything comes packaged, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. You'll see me unboxing it. Everything comes packaged and ready to go. That's what really intrigued me about HelloFresh. I love the way it was packaged. Like each dinner comes in its own separate bag, like ready to go, and then you get, you know, the card showing you the beautiful picture, but then all the steps. But I love how it's just like, here's your dinner right here, pull it out of the fridge and start going. So I love that they make it super easy. I personally know how to cook. I know my way around a recipe in a kitchen, but for those of you that don't or recipes or just cooking dinner kind of overwhelms you, this may be a good idea for you because it lays it out a lot for you. So I thought this may be a good option for those of you, maybe you have like small kids or a busy job. You don't have time to be running to the store all the time, but you want like fresh, good dinner ideas. Is, or maybe this is something you want to do just like once in a while when you have like a really busy period of time in your schedule this is all planned out for you you know you're not running to the grocery like I said it comes to your door so it's super convenient and you know it's gonna be like a nice well-balanced meal what's also great is you can choose your delivery date for instance I got mine on a Monday you can choose your delivery date you can put it on hold if you like so if you're gonna be out of town so as I mentioned they have three different plans they have the classic the veggie and family so we have the classic and you can go on their site and pick you know which me meals you want that week or maybe again if you want to skip that week which I think super cool because maybe you've got things going on or again you're gonna be out of town so all the recipes take about 30 minutes and then they do always have one once a week that is a quick like 20 minutes so they were nice enough to offer a coupon code so you actually get $30 off your first week. All that information will be below. You just need to click on it, enter my specific code I listed, and you get your $30 off. And so let's cut to me unboxing and so I can show you how it literally comes right out of the box. You see me opening it and then I will show you throughout the week as I'm fixing the dinners and what they taste like, what you can expect. So here's the box. Let's open this and hopefully everything looks okay since I'm getting it kind of late okay so this okay that's an apron and these are probably some coupons and then here are the menu so let's see what we got chicken cheddar fajitas those look really good we love fajitas cherry balsamic pork that looks really good too and then chicken thighs in kimchi sauce it looks good interesting and it says with an asian pear slaw so and jasmine rice which i love both of those and then you have nutritional info, depending on what you got that week. Um, there's different menu items, so. Nicely insulated here. And then these are the meals. So nicely packaged, you can see. This one's the chicken cheddar fajitas. This is the pork. I'm gonna get these out. And then it has this separating um, the meat and the ice pack. Okay. 
Okay, so these are the chicken thighs. And then we have the pork tenderloin. And then the chicken. And then these are the blocks of ice. So everything is extremely cold, so that's awesome. So let me open one of these up so that you can see what comes in it. We'll take a look here together. So you just have all your other ingredients besides the meat in here. So basically your peppers, your onion, um, any seasoning it looks like. The tortillas even, so that's awesome. <laughs> even a cute little thing of cheddar. So, oh, even sour cream, how cute is that? So, that's kind of what you get in these um, box, in the bags here. Everything you need and then the meat separately. Hi guys, well tonight we are starting with the cherry balsamic pork. Look how good that looks. And it's with thyme, roasted potatoes, and broccoli. And then here's a better look at all the instructions. It tells you what that you need to get out as far as like a bowl or oil or any of that. And then here's the ingredients, whether it's for two people or four people. We did get it for four people. And so I'm just going to start um, from the beginning here. Like I said, I've already laid everything out, what I'm going to need. And I'm going to start cutting these potatoes and the shallot and get all that together. And then I'll show you as I go step by step. I think I'm gonna have to cut some of them. Right it. Right in. I needed a bigger bowl. This is medium bowl, but I think it needs bigger. Okay, I did not have room on because I didn't use it really needed a really large baking dish for mm -hmm. the potatoes and there's no way all this is going to fit on one unless you have a pan so keep that in mind you really need three pans because there's no way that, that would have fit on there so yeah the broccoli in my opinion needed to be much smaller or say to cut it because it doesn't say to cut it. I mean, these are like large pieces here. Okay, so I just transferred the pork and you can see the broccoli takes up the whole pan. The potatoes take up the whole pan, at least for four people. So putting these back in the oven for about another 10 minutes. They've already been in there 10 and we'll see what that looks like. Are these not the cutest little things? They give you like, you know, pre-measured pre little. This is the vinegar. So here is the finished product. I've already been nibbling on these two um, because they came out of the oven first. We like our pork a little more well done. So something to keep in mind, I put it back in for about five more minutes, um, you know, cut a couple of pieces just because they were pretty thick. So here's what we have over here. This is my husband's plate here. Drizzled um, the sauce. That looks really good. I'm really excited to try that. The potatoes and the broccoli are awesome. And we are going to eat. So tonight we are doing the chicken fajitas. 
So I'm just going to chop up some of the peppers and then the chicken. I've already got the tortillas back over here. Where I chop up the chicken and I have the veggies on the stove back there. One thing I noticed tonight and last night, I don't like the order these are laid out. I feel like you should get this started. I feel like the meat is started too late in my opinion and maybe it's just the way I'm used to cooking. I feel like this is something you should at least prep if not do and get ready because I feel like other things then are finished ahead of time. I don't know. To me, I don't like the order of how they do the ingredients. But again, that could just be me because I'm used to cooking and this isn't the way I cook. But I just wanted to note that. Okay, so here's our progress so far. Got the chicken going here and the onions and peppers are done. And then it says to sprinkle, which this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen, but it said to sprinkle cheese on the tortillas and then you're gonna heat them up in the oven. And of course you have extra cheese, but I've never thought to do that. So you're just warming the, these up. And I don't know if I said, I think I put an annotation in last night, but that pork was really good. I thought it would be too sweet, but it wasn't. It was really good. Okay guys, so this is the finish product. It looks really good. Um, we have a few tortillas left and some cheese left and here are the jalapenos and the lime and the sour cream. This is what it all looks like. I mean look how great this looks together. Although I have to say the chicken, everything else was done and then I put the tortillas in at the last minute. So I feel like some of those steps could be switched around as far as prepping the tortillas. That only takes a second. This took a while. Of course, this was for four people, so there's a lot extra to think about. And that's what it looks like. So anyway, we're gonna dig in. Okay, so I'm getting ready to make the chicken thighs in kimchi sauce, and it has Asian pear slaw and jasmine rice, and this is one of the 20 minute meals. So the chicken and the rice are back there finishing up and I'm just going to move on to making the slaw. Ooh, I can really smell that sesame oil. Okay, so here's my slaw and the rice. This is an extra kimchi that you put on at the end. So that's what that looks like. Here's what this one looks like. So it looks really good. And they give you extra sauce. I don't know if you'd really need it depending on you know how much you like, but so I'm getting ready to try this. Okay, so I just wanted to try, try a quick bite and tell you on camera, of course, I love the jasmine rice. This is like the perfect blend of sweet and spicy, so it's really good. The slaw, I feel like um, 
I don't know if it's just the texture or something. I feel like it's not as flavorful as I thought. It might depend on like, you know, the pear or whatever, or maybe it's the sesame oil. It's good. It's just not my wow factor. This is really good. I could eat all of this so it's really good though i like it be sure to go to hellofresh.com and enter code miss crystal 30 for 30 dollars off and thank you guys so much for watching